So in this video, we are going to learn about some properties of the operation of union on these sets. So the first property is the commutative law, that is the ordering. So if you were to combine two sets using the operation of union, it doesn't really matter the order in which you combine. And this is quite intuitive to understand, right? You just have two collection of elements and all you are supposed to do is just to combine to them, you know, combine them. So it really doesn't matter which set you take first. In, in the example that we did earlier, it wouldn't have mattered if you would have taken the set B first or the set A first the final set that you would have ended up with would be same in both the case and that is what the commutative law says. It just says that the A union B equals to B union A means you will just get the same set no matter in whichever order you do this operation. Now the associative law, so, so when you are looking at more than three elements, right, doing the operation of union on more than three elements, it doesn't matter how you group them. Right. So uh, let's say that you want to combine three sets. And in the first instance, you said, let me combine A and B. So you combine them and then the resultant set of A union B, you do the operation of union with the set C. OK, so it, when you do this union operation this way, that is combining A union B first and then the resultant set being combined with C. Now, if you were to do this operation different way, that is you combined B union C, you do the operation of B union C first, and then this result, you do a union with A, right? You would still end up with the same set. And that is what is the associative law. Now, the third law is the law of identity element. Well, and this is pretty intuitive. So, A union phi is A. Well, phi is nothing. Now, when you are combining anything with nothing, right, you will get that anything or whatever thing you are combining with the phi, you get that back. So it's like you have a few elements in set A and you don't have anything in this null set. So when you combine the set A with the null set, you will get A. Very intuitive. A union A is A. That's pretty straightforward because you are not combining anything new. And then you have U union A. U is the universal set, which consists of all the elements. And A is a subset of U in this case. So when you combine a universal set with a subset, it always gives you a universal set. This is also known as the law of U. So these were the properties of operation of union of sets. Pretty important to know and uh, will be helpful when we are dealing with a few problems later on.